Ah, life is good. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Seller Addiction. Being a little dramatic right now, acting like I'm caught up in a bunch of pallets, but that's not the case because we actually got it down to three, six, nine. All right, I forgot these two pallets over here. We got about another 16 pallets left off of the 24 pallet truckload. Uh, we're getting there. We're crunching everything down and we're finally to the area that I like. And that's the car seats, baby. We're finally at the car seats. So I can't wait to get these guys listed on eBay, Amazon. Oh, also check this out. Super eBay seller. Uh, if you want to get one, I'll put a link in the description. She has the Super eBay seller shirts. She has the Super Amazon seller shirts and a, a few others. So yeah, that's my little cheap mic clipped on there. But yeah, if you like that, the link's in the description, check it out. But wanted to show you guys the progress. Finally got to this nice little load here. I uh, can't wait to get started here. Let's not mess up the inventory. Boxes aren't too bad. Typical boxes that have been shipped back. Several Britex, actually they're all Britex. I'm in Britex heaven here. Yes, baby, yes. So I'm gonna pull one of these guys out. Actually, I'm gonna to try to do this while I got you on the camera, so stand by. As you can see, that's the first one off the pallet. So far, so good. Looking pretty good. Uh, the next box looks even in better pristine, clean condition. But yeah, I'm very excited. Looking forward to getting there. Today's uh, blog, I wanted to just do a follow-up for the one I had a couple weeks ago regarding uh, OfferUp. At first, those who do follow and watch, I said, OfferUp, nah, no good, no good. The last one I was like, OfferUp is actually really working for us. I just wanna let you guys know, if you have large items such as this, car seats, uh, anything that would just be huge to move, anything that's gonna be large and go into your fees, toss these guys on offer up. I actually had a customer, as soon as I pulled up today, was waiting outside. I tried to schedule everything, but she was waiting, and she actually picked up that big uh, compost recycling thing. I don't know what it was. I, I called it the price of rice will. I wanted to just put things in there or bingo balls or whatever. And it was really cool. I sold it to her, gave her a nice discount. She was a returning customer. Retails for 60 bucks. If I sold it for $60 online, after my fees, expenses, shipping, I would have been lucky if I made $15 profit, which is good. Get my cost back, $15 profit margin, not bad. But she was a returning customer. I had a list her for 50. She picked it up. I sold it to her for 40 so that actually cost me 15 bucks. So a nice $25 profit, so not bad. Made a little bit more, made the money back, and had a returning customer. We're at the car seats. We're slowly digging. Just showing you that we're making nice progress there. We're getting there slowly but surely, and we'll get ready for that next load to come in after we clear it back to probably the next, the last three pallets or so. Yeah, just wanted to let you guys know OfferUp is doing really well for us, so give it a shot, give it a try. I'm here in Northern California. I'm actually inland, so away from the congested Bay Area, and it's been doing really well for us. I, I still don't have faith in the uh, Five Miles app. We're not affiliated with OfferUp or any of these things, but they're not paying us to give them a shout out. I'm just letting you know that it's really doing well for us. I'd say before, when we very first started this business, and when I told you guys, from that little change jar to making over 30,000 a month in sales, we were mainly targeting Amazon. But we slowly migrated to using a lot of our sources and inventory, placing that stuff on eBay. Uh, we kind of pulled a lot of things from inventory. Uh, inventory. I, I can't even talk today. I just got a lot going on. Tomorrow's my birthday. Um, we slowly pulled a lot of things from Amazon mainly due to the fees. They take a huge chunk and also their policy. We would ship brand new blankets to a customer. They would pull everything out the bag and lay it across their bed. And after 29 days, I think I want a different color. I'm gonna send this back. So you just devalue that by getting your beautiful hair strings all over the bed or your, your doggy or cat hair. And what the hell can I do with it now? And that's just one situation. We had a lot of crock pots or 
Instapots that we would send there and they would come back used. So we said, we, we have to control this some sort of way. And this is mainly for people who do FBA or Merchant for Bill, not a private label. Of course, your private label brand be more successful on Amazon. As far as folks who source inventory to resell, such as we do, in my opinion, you, you would hurt yourself. You, would, you still get the high sales, but after you look at your return rate and your fees, it kind of balances. So yeah, eBay may be a little bit slower, but that return rate, and as far as the similarities and the issues that I just described, it's going to decrease extremely. So just give it a shot, try it out. Um, it's been working for us, and now we're really using OfferUp quite a bit, and that's local. So that cuts out all shipping fees, that cuts out all eBay fees or Amazon fees, and it's just a local cash exchange. We also have the um, Square Reader that I just simply pop in on the iPad, automatically charges the right amount of taxes, all that good stuff. You don't have to worry about it. Just swipe the card, goes right into the bank account the next day. So those are options, and it's very low. It's not pricey. I can't give you the exact amount. My wife actually handles all the expenses, but that's been helping us out as well. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on. I actually filmed this before I even put the other video out, so I'm trying to be more proactive with this. Uh, just to give you guys a little bit of advice. I don't want it to be, hey, look what I got, pallet here. Hey, look what I got. Oh, I sold this, I sold that. I'm just waiting for the questions. Uh, some people email me direct. You can email me at uh, spencer at sswidepot.com if you got any questions or drop it in the comments. I'll reply. I'm excited. Tomorrow I turn another year older and tomorrow the business grows another day older. So stay focused, stay positive, keep that drive going, and remember, Go as far as you can go with anything in life. Go as far as you can go, as far as you can see. I mean, it's, reach out there and just go as far as you can see. And the thing is, is when you get to that destination mark that you like, that you've seen, now you can see further, so go further. Thanks for tuning in. Seller Addiction, peace. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day, I'm going crazy. Too much coffee, people. Whoa, too much coffee. I got beard hair on the camera. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> Welcome back to Seller Addiction.